It's always interesting to listen to Greg Williams' press conference. By the way, I've got, uh, this is a whole transcript of it. It goes on page, at one page, two page, three page, four pages, five, six pages of Greg Williams' quotes here from the other day when he was out in Berea. Guess what? Not a single F-bomb in any of these pages. Shows Greg can do it when he wants to. Uh, he said several interesting things. Number one, he absolutely praised Miles Garrett for last year playing with an ankle sprain that he said most guys would not have played at all. And we've seen, I think, hints of the real Miles Garrett in this preseason with the sacks, the speed, the athleticism. And keep in mind, Greg Williams is not afraid to certainly criticize people. Rookie Denzel Ward, Nordonia product, Ohio State. As he, you know, he calls him, he keeps getting hurt because of quote unquote stupid tackling. He doesn't like Ward kind of leaning with his shoulder into some of these uh, bigger guys and, and getting hurt. He wants to, to uh, kind of cut out, take their legs out. So if he's saying nice things about Miles Garrett and challenging Ward on his quote stupid tackling unquote, you know he's being very, very straightforward. He made a very good point. I think it's going to. Uh, pay a lot of dividends because Denzel Ward has joined the team and done a good job covering and because Terrence Mitchell, the other cornerback, has really done, a, again, a good cover man. The Browns' defensive secondary is a little better. Guys aren't just wide open immediately. That's giving Miles Garrett, Emmanuel Agba, Larry Ogunjobi, Jamie Meter, some of their defensive linemen, more time to get to the quarterback, which should create more sacks. Williams mentioned this. He said he had two goals for the Browns this season. Number one, give up fewer points. Kind of as obvious. It is the bottom line. Defensively, by the way, the Browns gave up. They ranked 31st in points allowed. There's only 32 teams last year. And then the second thing, he wants more turnovers. You know, the Browns only had seven turnovers defensively that they forced last year. That's near the bottom of the league also. You know, the Browns defense has some fascinating guys there to look at. Uh, Williams is very pleased with how Jamie Collins played in the third preseason game. He said something that I didn't realize. He said Jamie had never had a major knee injury or any type of major injury until last year when he had knee surgery with the Browns. And it took him a while to figure out how to come back from that. You know, Jamie is one of these athletically gifted people, probably figured he would never, ever really have a big injury. Well, he did. And now he looked like the kind of guy that they thought he could be when they made him one of the highest paid linebackers in the league heading into 2017. You know, Kristen Kirksey looks good. Michael Kendricks that they got from Philadelphia, Joe Schobert, Gennard Avery. I mean, five linebackers are talking about here, many of whom can put some real pressure on the quarterback. So I look at Greg Williams. He has had very good defenses in the past, and I really think he could have that again. <laughs>